Well, it's uh, 72 outside. Um, just checking all of my stuff out here. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we live in one of those places where temperature isn't regulated at all. So, I'm just uh, looking at the forecast and it looks like it's going to get down to 18 degrees. Which is bad news, uh, especially since it looks like we've got buds all over this uh, nice little peach tree I've got. And it's trying to have leaves too, so it's looking pretty bad for the peach tree this year. This one anyway. <clears throat> uh, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, all my peach trees were clones because uh, the guy that lived here was that good with plants. I'm not that good with plants. I've actually tried and I've got the hormone stuff. Wow! Okay, who's pulling feathers out again? Quite a few feathers. Make sure I don't have a bird around here flopping. Yeah. Looks like this one's doing the same thing. So, we got our little peach blossoms. They're really cute. They don't last very long because the tree's purpose is to fruit, not flower. I think the figs will be okay. This is a fig tree here, and uh, it's got a buddy back there. Yep, it should be okay. I don't care if that one dies. This thing right here is a oleander, and it exists only to make my life hell. Uh, I think that one might be another citrus tree. We've got uh, 20 or 30 citrus trees out here. I haven't managed to kill them very well yet. Uh, I thinned that one out at the top pretty good. Um, yep, already got itty bitty fruit on this one. Actually, that's the only one I see. Hey, get out of the flower garden, you! Get out of the flower garden. There we go. But yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice right now. Um, I've got a little sensor built into this uh, gate right here that tells me the temperature out here for whatever reason. Uh, that wasn't one of the reasons I bought it, but I'm damn glad it does. And it says it's 72 out here right now. We live a long way from uh, a town, and so I think they say it's like 78 or some damn thing. And it can be off by as much as 10 degrees. But, uh, so we're going to have to do something with you guys. This thing is, is very warm. I wonder if I can bury m most of it and see how that goes. Let's count. Oh, yeah. We've got... Uh, all seven chicks, and one of them inside is about ready to come out of the egg. I don't know if I'm going to get any more, but eight on my first try is not bad. Especially considering um, that's probably the original number of eggs I put in there. I thought maybe I could add some a couple of days late, and then I added more a couple more days. And before you know it, the thing's full, but with eggs that are in rad radically different uh, statuses. So... Uh, this is probably all that I put in there, um, originally. You guys cannot fly. I know you think you can fly, and that's really cute. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. You guys are killing some water. You guys are doing pretty good. You know? Look at you guys go at that water. So, uh, it, it's a little harder to train them how to use the little drip system, but... I cannot think of uh, a better system, really. In fact, I'll probably continue to use this until I can use the cups. But I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do those yet. Uh, I know I'm going to buy some PVC, and I'm going to try to uh, tap in a gravity-fed one and see if I can't get them to drink out of that, too. Uh, but that's probably pretty far into the future. And I've actually got a, like a bucket one with cups on it, and I may end up needing to use that for the big ones uh, since I may have to turn off my outside water. Uh, 18 is pretty darn cold. Oh, <laughs> there we go. So uh, these guys are showing us exactly how that top piece works. So you got this clear thing on the top here and it's to keep these little turkeys, uh, chickens, uh, from climbing on the top. And that's uh, Sounds like weird. Like if you don't own chickens, why would you why would you want to keep them off the heater? Well, 
chickens poop everywhere. And at this stage, they're real little. They're real little. Uh, and um, they don't poop too much, although a lot more than you would think. But once they get kind of big, then it, it gets bad. They are prolific poopers, mostly because they're doing nothing but eat and practice their wings, run into things, and drink at this stage. I mean, it's kind of like they don't add too much to their repertoire as they get older either, but these guys are really eating and really drinking uh, for probably two ounces of uh, chicken to finish this much water is pretty intense. But uh, they're getting along okay. Let's add a little bit more of our um, pine shavings here. So, oh, quit freaking out. It's just pine shavings. You guys are running around on them anyway. They are quite easily alarmed, which is funny because when they're with mom, they're not easily alarmed at all. Oh, stop. So we're just going to pack the sides of this thing. I keep trying to basically bury the sides because it, it has been getting somewhat cold at night. Not bad, but I think, uh, I think it's about to get really, really bad because I haven't even looked past the, the 18 degrees. And that, that was the last day, so it, it might get just ridiculous so I may also uh, end up throwing some of these corners here to keep them kind of out of the corners of course they're freaking out and going into the corner so they're getting a bunch of this stuff on them you guys are fine probably get used to it there you go now you guys got little hills to climb how's that sound huh that stuff really sticks to downy feathers you're fine hell you guys are probably kicking the stuff around like crazy anyway so I guess we'll see uh, how this all works together I, I don't really anticipate any problems just because of how um, tight the box fits all together, which was not by design. Well, kind of by design, design, but not not to that extent. Uh, and the heat plate really gives me some confidence here because uh, it's it's not a light. It's not going to light all of this right now. Very dry material. It's not going to light it all on fire. It's going to stay real warm. I should probably flip it so it's away from the door, but I guess the door is probably one of the better sealed places. We'll see. Uh, the roof is not that great, but if I keep this thing uh, pretty well sealed up like this, I don't, I don't think we're going to have any issues. Uh, and so these guys have plenty of insulating material they're well sealed in they're probably going to be fine while the rest of my chickens uh, we've got the coop all built up so <clears throat> that should probably be fine too but it says we're gonna get snow which is weird and these guys I'm a little worried about because uh, they don't go home at night do you uh, the rest of the waterfowl are probably fine. They're going to be better off than the chickens will. But if we get snow, that's going to be really bad. Of course, the goats are going to be fine. Uh, Meep, our big one here, uh, decided to make a, uh, a baby goat when it got the coldest it was last year and I was actually at school so my wife had to deliver a uh, baby because it was her first one and we we seem to have uh, pretty bad problems with the very first kid uh, it's probably the primary way we've ever lost goats too other than uh, 
we first got them and the dogs freaked out but uh we're we're at least um sealed in this direction Ooh, i forgot my drink i guess that's no good now yeah looks like we're doing pretty good here got our roof on uh, I didn't think it was going to get cold anymore, so I did not fabricate the wind guard yet. Although, I probably have a pretty good amount of this, but getting the chickens to hang out in this thing before I've got uh, what amounts to soffit is going to be nigh impossible, I imagine. So, we'll see there. Wow, you guys are just peeing up a storm. Good thing that the water is set to automatic. Well, I'm getting looked at, so let's feed some birds. <laughs> hey, be nice to Rusty. Hopefully none of the babies are related to him. They'll come out looking like uh, Sigourney Weaver's clones in Alien 3. That'll be bad, huh, Alaric? Hey there, the darkness. It turned out we do need to uh, adjust your collar. But uh, you clipped off most of the strings, so that's going to be fun. What do you think, Rusty? Can I ask you to go catch him? Fights Rusty all the time now. Well, I think we either should play ball or feed chickens. What do you guys think? Yeah, so this chicken right here is looking funny right now because she's been replacing a lot of feathers. Kind of going through a molt. And if you're a chicken or a high schooler and you don't look like everybody else, well, you're going to get a little bit of attention. Oops. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. There we go. Spilt my corn. That's okay. I think I've got a bunch of things that will fix that for me. In fact, all I probably have to do is open this and kick some of it this direction. While I play with the dogs. All right, puppies, should we play ball? What do you think, Alec? Would you like to play ball? All right.